familiar with the plow trucks that come by and they push away all the snow as it's falling. But what you might not see is the de-icing elements that they spray after to help with the melting. Now they use different de-icers depending on the air temperature. Above 20 degrees, simple rock salt works. It's perfectly fine. It's the same thing as your table salt. Now when the temperature drops below 20 to about zero degrees, that's when we use magnesium chloride, which is also a form of salt but actually, it's actually primarily produced in the Great Salt Lake. That's an interesting fact for you. Then when you get even colder than that, we go to calcium chloride, yet another form of salt that works down to negative 25 degrees. So what is the difference when we go from rock salt to calcium chloride? Well, what it does is it actually lowers the freezing point, making it harder for ice to form. Whoa, what just happened there? Looks like a manhole cover exploded. Now you've probably seen video of this happening before. So what exactly is going on? So we have all the salt now that has been spread on the street. That, of course, seeps down into the sewer system. What is underneath that manhole cover? Well, we actually have all sorts of cables and gases. So first off, you have the salt that's eroding away at the insulation. Then you have all this gas down in our sewers. You have methane, you have hydrogen, think Hindenburg, and hydrogen sulfide. So once you have that salt that's eroded away at the insulation, you have live wires, of course, that's heat. You get a spark mixing with the gas and boom, you have an explosive environment. But let me stand back here because those manhole covers, they can blast 50 feet into the air and they can weigh anywhere from 100 to 300 pounds. So if you see one smoking, you obviously want to stay away. New York City estimates that they have more than 2,000 of these manhole incidents a year.